What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video we're drawing Porky Pig. Let's begin in the center of our page with the bottom edge of the nose. We're going to start over on the left side. We're going to draw a curve that comes down and bend that back up towards the right. Now from here we're just going to curve this around and then up towards the top. Round out the corners of the nose. It's going to round out the top, come down the right side and then in. Let's add two small ovals and an angle on either side for the nostrils. And we'll move down and draw the top edge of the mouth. Let's start on the left, curl the mouth coming down, and then back up. Let's add in the cheeks. From the mouth, we're going to step in, curl this down, and then out. And then from the corners of the mouth, we're going to step out, curve the mouth coming in, and then down towards the bottom. And we'll connect the ends with a curve. Come around, and then back up. Let's place the tongue over on the left side. We're going to start from the side of the mouth, go up, and then bend that back down. Now underneath the mouth, we're going to step down and draw the lip. Come down, and then bend that up. Now we're going to go back up to the top, just beside the nose, and draw the cheeks. We're going to go up, and then out. And I'm going to place the eyes in behind the cheeks. Let's start right beside the nose, and draw an oval. Going all the way up toward the top, round out the eye, and then pull that back down. Let's draw two small ovals along the inside of the eyes for the pupil. Go up and then in. And we'll fill the pupils in black. Now we're going to add the eyebrows just up above the eyes. Starting on the inside, bend this up and then down. Let's move out to the side and draw on the cheeks. It's going to line up with the top left, step out, cut the cheek going out, round up the cheek, and just tuck that in behind the side of the lip. Let's line this up on the right. Go all the way around, come down, and let's just tuck that in. Now going back to the left side, I'm going to draw on the top of the head. And bump this out, go all the way around, and up and in, round up the head, Come around the right side, come down, and in. Let's add in the ears, starting over on the left, then this up and out. Just round out the tip of the ear, bend that back in. And we'll curve the ear, coming down and in towards the side of the head. Let's add that fold inside the ear, pulling this up and out. Now with the head in place, let's move down and draw on the bow tie, starting with the knot. And leave a gap in the center, draw two lines coming down, and we'll round out the bottom. From the bottom corners of the knot, bend the bow, coming down and out on either side, and we'll round out the side of the bow, coming all the way around, and just tuck that in underneath the head. Now the inside of the jacket is going to go underneath the bow. Let's start on the left side, bend this down and then out. Let's curve the bottom of the jacket, going out and then up towards the side. Now I'm going to curve the jacket back in towards the side of the bow, coming in and then up. And then from here we're going to tuck the arms in behind the body. From the top of the bow, let's step out, curve the arm going out and down towards the elbows. Bend the arm, coming back down and in towards the side of the body. Now from the bottom corner of the jacket, let's step in and curve the body, coming down and in. From the hips, we're going to move to the middle, step down and add a curve, going up and then down. 
And I need a gap in the center for the left side, bend the leg coming in and down towards the heel on both sides. And I'll round out the bottom of the feet on the left, then it's down and then up. Now I'm going to go back up to the hips and draw the outside of the leg. Let's step up, put the leg going out, round up the leg, and then bend that back in, sort of aiming towards the heel. Now I'm going to round up the foot, and just tuck that back in underneath the leg. On the edge of the foot, we draw a curve. Just coming around and then in towards the bottom. And we'll fill the tip of the feet in black. Now we'll sign our art and add a splash of color. And that's pretty much it. There's a drawing of Porky Pig. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please give this video a like and share it with all your friends. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.